Analog and digital are two different ways of describing quantity. If you ask a fisherman how many fish he has caught, and he holds up eight digits like this, he is describing the quantity of fish in a digital way. He's using separate individual digits to describe separate individual objects, which is fine, because this is a very clear-cut situation. You either catch eight fish or you don't. You can't catch a little less or a little more than eight fish. But if you ask the fisherman how big the fish was that got away, and he holds his hands up like this, he is describing the quantity of missing fish in an analog way. The distance between his hands is an analogy for the length of a fish. And this analog way of describing quantity is much more convenient than the digital way when you have to describe something that can vary continuously given the elastic nature of the average fisherman's memory. In the world of machines, one of the commonest analog devices is a dimmer. The turning of the knob corresponds to the fading up or down of the light. It is a continuously variable device. The light can be more or less on. Contrast this with a light switch, which is the simplest digital device of all. The light is either on or off. Which brings us to that collection of on-off switches which is called a computer. Obviously itself a digital device, since it has to deal with everything in terms of binary digits. The computer's keyboard is also digital. There are lots of separate individual keys, and you either press one or you don't. But this can be awkward when you have to describe something which varies continuously, such as the movement of a little rocket ship on the screen, because you have to fragment this movement into separate units forward 30, right 90, forward 30, and so on. So here is where it's much better to use the analog way of representing continuous movement by means of game paddles, which relate directly to what is happening on the screen. The more you turn the paddle, the more the rocket ship turns. But there's room for both ways, of course, both analog and digital. If you want to represent reality in a smooth, continuous fashion, go analog. If you want to represent reality one little piece at a time, go digital.